and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my new favorite helpful artificial intelligence tools that's out there, and it's called Diffit. So Diffit is a tool created by teachers for teachers. And basically what the name implies, it's a great way of giving different resources to students if they need additional options for reading levels or text that you might be looking at in class. So the way that Diffit works is you can create your free account using your BCSE Google account. And then from there, it takes you to the screen and it says create leveled resources for a couple of different options. So if you are teaching a topic and maybe your textbook doesn't have a whole lot of great reading materials on it, or you want a variety to meet the different needs of students in your classroom, you can search for a topic. You can paste in a URL if you already found a reading that you want, but perhaps you need it at different Lexile or reading levels. Or if you have a file saved on your device, you can also upload that here, including PDFs. You can also paste in an excerpt as well. So you have several different options here. And what Divid is going to do is it's going to create a body of text as well as some assessment questions based on the topic that you put in, the article you upload, and the reading level that you specify. So this is a really good way of diversifying the resources in your classroom and creating multiple versions at different reading levels of a body of text for your students really efficiently. So if I type in my topic here, and let's say like this is something that's sometimes taught in ninth and 10th grade, but I wanna have this at a seventh grade reading level, I'll click generate resources, and then it takes a few minutes to think. And what it's going to do is create a body of text that I can edit if I want, I can make changes on it if I would like, and it specifies it at that reading level, so about seventh grade reading level, like I said. And then I can export that text into a Google Doc if I want, so they can easily share it with my students, and then they can use the accessibility tools like Read and Write for Google, and even read with their ears in Google if they would like. So that's the benefit of using this tool, is you can really put it in a couple of different formats, so it's a lot easier. All right, so, here I am. So it made this text for me. At the top, it tells me what reading level. If I wanted to change this, I could to a different one if I change my mind. I can also have it translated into different languages as well. Now it does use a computer to translate it, so it may not be 100% accurate, but I can have this in different languages should I need. I can add a picture here if I want this to be a little bit more engaging for my students. I can copy the text here. I can edit this text if I felt like this wasn't quite what I was looking for. Additional things that I can do if I scroll further down the page, this is where you see some really awesome assessment options. So it gives me a summary, and I can edit that as well and copy it. It gives me vocab words as well, and I can have additional ones added. I can edit the ones that are here, can copy those too and put them in a Google document. And here's where I have assessment questions. So there's multiple choice questions that are made. Can op can you know see the answers, edit those, add more if I would like. Short answer questions, same thing and then some more open-ended or extended response questions. So those are just some wonderful things here. It doesn't only just create a reading for you at different levels, but it also creates some assessment questions that are really quick for you to go and integrate. The other key thing I wanna point out is if I haven't already obsessed kind of over some of these tools already, is I can now share this with other teachers if I would like. This is a newer feature in Diffit over the last month or so. If you were new to this tool, great, you're getting the right time. If you've been using it already, this was not something that was there previously. So you can email it to another teacher or copy. So maybe teachers of record that you're working with, um, MML, MLL teachers, and similar. If I click export button, I can save it as a PDF, which isn't the most accessible option. I can export it to Google Docs. So then I can have all of the reading, the vocab on there, and then I can edit whatever I need. And the really cool thing, this is also fairly new this summer, is I can export these quiz questions into Google Forms. And in Google Forms, it can basically be set up as a formative assessment or summative assessment and can self grade for the multiple choice questions. It won't do the best job of grading some of those more extended response, but I can really make a really quick exit ticket formative assessment all right here from the screen if I export it to a Google Form. I can decide what type of content I want to be on that Google Form. So if I want the reading on there, the summary, vocab, if I want everything so that Google Form is really like an all-in-one lesson, you can do that. Otherwise, I could just do the multiple choice questions and maybe not my short answer. So it takes a second to think, but it saves it into my Google Drive and generates it, and then I can still go through and edit things as I need to. So it's pretty fantastic. It's also similar in 
Google Docs as well. So if I wanted to instead share this into a Google Doc, I can also check box what assignments and things that I want. I can open it. And we'll open it in a new tab. Takes it a second. But here is that Google form. So I kept the title on there. I had the reading passage, the summary, the vocab. And then it goes into these multiple choice questions. And the cool part is it's smart enough to figure out that these are multiple choice. They're likely going to be correct answer. One of them amongst these would so already has identified what the correct answer is. And then I can go and add additional feedback if I would like and decide how many points I want these to be worth. If it's more of a formative assessment and we're not grading it, then I can just delete that piece, make it zero points, but we'll still show the students correct or incorrect answers as they go through. The Google Doc version, thought I'd pull that up for you as well. Here we go. It has the text. If I had added a picture, it would put it there. And the nice thing about this being made for teachers by teachers is it cites sources and where it got this information, which is not something that a lot of the other artificial intelligence tools out there do. So this tool is constantly evolving. They're very cognizant of teachers' needs. If you fill, create your account, you get free access for as long as they have it free. And they're always asking for feedback. So hope that you like this tool and we can do more trainings on it in the future.